Hello again my friends, Age of Triumph is Destiny's last live event before the sequel launches. It's a way for Guardians to celebrate the game's last three years before embarking on a new adventure. Bungie's latest livestream gave players their first in-depth look at this new event. Age of Triumph will introduce Destiny's biggest record book to date, the return of all three old raids updated to current light levels, new challenge modes, insane new ornament slots for all raid armor, and yes the return of Vex Mythoclass, Fatebringer and every other iconic raid weapon you can think of. There's a hell of a lot to talk about, so let's get stuck in. First up, the new record book, 13 pages worth of challenges to complete, each page helping Guardians relive and celebrate Destiny's past three years. And of course, no record book will be complete without rewards. As you can see, each rank up until rank 6 unlocks a unique emblem. Rank 7, however, unlocks something a little different, an invitation. This invite allows you to purchase an Age of Triumph t-shirt from Bungie's online store. Only those who hit rank 7 have the option to buy it. This is what it looks like and you can even personalize it with your own gamer tag or PSN ID. You can also earn rewards from completing certain pages of the record book. For example, if you complete all the story missions on page 3, you unlock the Tale Told emblem and here's what it looks like. So you get rewards for ranking up the record book and for completing certain pages within the record book. In short, lots of new emblems to earn. Now you may find that when you open your record book on day 1, many of the challenge notes will have already been completed. That's because this record book is celebrating the past three years of Destiny. If you're a veteran guardian, you'll have already completed many of the challenges listed in this book. For example, from the beginning, asked you to complete an activity between the release of Destiny and the Dark Below. That's something I did a long time ago. It's worth noting that each of the notes on this particular page unlocks an emblem. So that's eight new emblems just from page two of the record book. But like I said, if you're a veteran guardian, you'd have almost certainly completed all eight notes nodes on this particular page, so that's 8 easy emblems you're going to pick up on day 1. The record book also has pages devoted to the Warlock, Titan, Hunter, Strikes, the Crucible, Raids and Trolls of Osiris. There are even pages devoted to completionists. The collections page rewards guardians who collect ships, shaders, sparrows, grimoire, that kind of thing. The Wanderer page rewards guardians for recovering dead ghosts and seaver fragments and for even activating the loot cave easter egg. As you're about to see, the challenge is called Spelunker and you have to destroy disturb the remains, so basically all you need to do is return to the loot cave and do exactly that. And finally, the Allegiances page rewards Guardians for hitting certain vendor ranks. Like I said, this record book covers absolutely every aspect of Destiny, and Veteran Guardians will have a considerable head start on the road to hitting that 100% completion. But it's worth pointing out that 100% completion is not required for you to earn every single reward in this book. Next up, we're going to talk about raids. All three of Destiny's older raids are returning at current light levels and each raid will have new challenges. Bungie also promised new tweaks and surprises for every raid. They even teased that the new Avian challenge is their hardest one to date and yes, the Vex Mythoclast is fucking back, as is Fatebringer. In fact, all the iconic raid weapons you know and love are returning. Bungie will talk about how these weapons will fit into the current meta during their third livestream. Whether or not they return in all their former glory remains to be seen, but the thing I'm most excited about is the new raid ornaments. And here's why. Bungie revealed that every single raid will have new ornamental raid armor. Even the most recent raid, Wrath of the Machine, is getting a new ornament slot for its armor. Bungie describes these new raid ornaments as spectacular. In an interview with GamesRadar, Deej revealed that the new Vault of Glass raid ornaments will add robotic limbs to your guardian. That's right, bionic fucking guardians. As you can see from these images, the hunter's left leg is made of metal, which, let's be honest, is pretty fucking cool. I can't wait to see the raid ornaments for Crota's End and King's Fall. So how exactly do you get your hands on these ornaments? Well, the new weekly featured raid is the only time these new raid ornaments will drop. The first featured raid will be Crota's End, followed by Vault of Glass and then King's Fall, so get your practice in accordingly. So there you have it, Age of Triumph launches Tuesday, March 28th. Leading up to that date, Bungie's gonna host two more live streams, and I'll be sure to break them down just like I did this one, so be sure to subscribe to this channel if that sounds like the kind of content you want to watch. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. There's heaps more Destiny content coming your way. If you want to keep bang up to date with all the latest Destiny news as and when it breaks, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications and that way you won't miss a single thing. If you want to learn more about Bungie's remaining two live streams and our first official Destiny 2 info, click the image that's just appeared on the screen. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more Destiny content and thank you so much for watching, you beautiful bastards and as always, a tee hee hee. Until next time, Guardians.